Hello friends, today we are going to analyze the given portal frame having the unequal vertical length and loaded as shown in the figure. So first step is to find out the support reaction and assuming at location A, vertical upward reaction as a RA, horizontal reaction as a HA and vertical reaction as a RD for location D then taking the first equilibrium equation which is sigma H equal to 0 then at location A, HA is in the negative direction so it is as a negative HA now 18 into 3 in the positive direction so it is positive 18 into 3 due to the UDL in span AB and 20 kN in the negative direction so it is minus 20 which is equal to 0 now calculating this term we will have the value of HA which is equal to 34 kN. So our value for the HA is 34 kN. Now second equilibrium condition is sigma moment at location A which is equal to 0. We have to take the moment at location A. So at location A due to the 18 kN per meter UDL it is in the clockwise direction. So it is positive 18 into 3 as a total load into 3 by 2 as a CG distance. Now at location B to C, we have 12 kN per meter UDL which creates the clockwise moment with location A. So it is positive 12 into 4 into CG distance as a 4 by 2. Now due to the 20 kN load which is in the direction of the HA and due to the same distance our moment due to 20 kN is 0 and due to the vertical reaction of RD it creates the anti-clockwise moment so it is negative and perpendicular distance from A to D is 4 meter so it is 4 times RD now solving this value we will have the reaction at location D as a 44.25 kN and the third equilibrium condition is sigma V equal to 0 so RA in upward direction RD in upward direction so RA plus RD now 12 into 4 in the downward direction due to the UDL. So it is minus 12 into 4 which is equal to 0. Now putting the value of RD as a 44.25, we will have the value of RA as a 3.75 kN. So first step is to calculate the support reaction. After that, we have to discrete this wall frame with the given load as well as the support reaction as as shown in the figure we have to just discrete wall beam and column and we have to apply the given load as it is on the frame as well as the support reaction now we have to equalize wall system using sigma h equal to zero sigma v equal to zero and moment so first of all if we take the vertical load at location a it is 3.75 in upward direction so we have to apply a downward load of same value 3.75 kN as we have to equalize the AB member. Now in actual member we do not have any vertical load on the point B. So we have to apply the opposite and equal load of 3.75 kN at location B. Now observing the BC span at location C there is a requirement of 3.75 in upward direction while 12 into 4 in the downward direction so total load is 3.75 up minus 48 in the downward so we need 44.25 kN in upward direction at location C to equalize this system but at location C there isn't any load on the given frame so we have to apply equal and opposite value of 44.25 in span C to D and observing the C to D span it is in the equilibrium due to the support reaction at location D. Now the next point is we have to equalize the horizontal load and observing the point A 34 kN right. left to left load is there and 18 into 3 from left to right. So total load is 34 in the negative as a minus 34 18 into 3 as a 54 in the positive direction. So we have to apply 20 kN in the negative direction at location B. Now at location B there isn't any horizontal load given in the actual frame so we have to apply opposite of 20 kN 
at location B. Now from B to C, if we have to equalize this system, then we have to apply horizontal 20 kN load at location C. Now for the joint C, we have to apply opposite of this load as a 20 kN. And observing this CD span, 20 kN at location C in the positive direction and location E in the negative direction. So total system is in equilibrium. For AB span, 3.75 kN compressive load is there. For B to C, 20 kN compressive load is there. And for C to D, 44.25 compressive load is there. So for this given frame, we have a negative axial thrust diagram which is according to the calculation AB span having the 3.75 compressive load B2C has a minus 20 kN it means 20 kN compressive load so without taking the scale if we draw a diagram as shown in the figure and for C2D it is minus 44.25 The diagram as shown in the figure is axial thrust diagram for the given prep. Now for the shear force diagram, here at location A, 34 kN upward load is there. So 34 kN in the upward direction. Now from 34 to the point B, we will have 18 into 3 in the downward direction. So total 34 upward, 18 into 3 downward. So total value is minus 20. We have to connect it as a inclined straight line as shown in the figure. And at location B, due to the 20 kN upward, it is 0. Now, observing this figure, we will have 0 point between A to B. So, if we take a x meter from the location A as a 0 shear force, then the rest value is 3 minus x. And the value is 20 due to the vertical 20 kN. Now, if we calculate this value x as a 34 by x, which is equal to 20 divided by 3 minus x due to the similar triangle rule, then the value of x, which is equal to 1.89 meter. So, from location A to the 1.89 meter, we will have the maximum bending moment between A to B. Now, for B to C span, we have 3.75 upward load. Now from location B to location C, 12 into 4, it means 48 kN downward load is there. So 3.75 minus 48 as a 44.25. And due to the UDL, we have to connect this two point by the inclined straight line. And at location C, 44.25 kN is upward. So, our value is 0. Here also between B to C, there is a 0 shear force where the maximum bending moment will be there. So, if we take the point as a Y from the point B, then the rest value is 4 minus Y. Now, using similar triangle rule between B to C, we will have 3.75 divided by Y which is equal to 44.25 divided by 4 minus y and by solving this value we will have the y as a 0 0.31 meter. So from location b at distance 0 0.31 we will have maximum bending moment between b to c. Observing member c to d we will have 20 kN horizontal load so 20 in the horizontal direction in the positive way and from C to E, there isn't any load, so we have to draw a horizontal straight line. At location E, 20 kN downward load is there, so our value is 0. And from E to D, there isn't any point load, so straight line. So, diagram indicates the value of shear force for the given prep. Now, we have to calculate the bending moment. And for that, if we take the moment at location B, 
then due to the 34 kilo newton clockwise moment is generated so it is 34 into 3 in the clockwise and 18 into 3 into 3 by 2 in anti clockwise direction so it is minus 18 into 3 into 3 by 2 now calculating this value we will have the moment as a 21 kilo newton meter but our value is of clockwise and for the equilibrium we have to apply anti clockwise moment at location b in this span ba now for equilibrium for the joint b we have to apply opposite of this 20 kilo newton meter moment If we take a moment at location C, then our value is 21 in the clockwise direction. Now, support reaction is 3.75, 4 point B, so it is in the clockwise, and the value is 3.75 into total distance as a 4, minus 12 into 4 into 4 by 2 in anticlockwise direction due to the UDL. So, our value is minus 60 kilo newton meter. Now, minus 60, it means we have to apply a clockwise moment at location C. And for joint equilibrium of C, we have to apply opposite of the 60 kilo newton meter at location C in this span C to D. Now, if we take the moment at location D, then minus 60 in the anticlockwise direction. 20 into total distance 5 in clockwise. So, it is positive 20 into 5 and 20 into 2 meter in anticlockwise direction at location E. So, it is minus 20 into 2 meter. So, our value is 0. So, it means our value is okay as we know the moment at location D is 0. Now, if we calculate the moment at location E and observing the figure E to D, there isn't any load. So, at location E also, the moment is 0. But we know that at location 1.89 meter, maximum moment is there between A to B. So, let us calculate it as a M 1.89. So, 34 into 1.89 in clockwise direction. And due to 18 kN per meter, it is minus 18 into span as a 1.89 and distance as a 1.89 by 2. The value is 32.11 kN meter. The value is clockwise. So, we have to apply anti-clockwise moment at this location of maximum moment. Now, similarly between B to C at location 0 0.31 meter, The moment is 3.75 into 0 0.31 in clockwise direction. Twenty-one kilonewton meter clockwise moment is already there, so it is plus twenty-one minus due to the UDL anti-clockwise moment is generated, hence it is negative twelve into zero point thirty-one into zero point thirty-one by two. So the total value is. 21.59 kN meter. Value is positive. Hence, we have to apply anticlockwise moment at location where the shear force is 0 and the value is 21.59 kN meter. So, thus we can calculate the bending moment. Now, using this bending moment of the given frame, we have to draw a bending moment diagram and it is as at location A, our value is 0. At the maximum point from 1.89 meter from A, the value is 32.11 in anticlockwise direction as well as at location B, 20, 21 kilonewton meter in the anticlockwise direction. So, at location where the shear force is 0, the value is 32.11 in the downward direction. Here the value is 21 and we have to connect this 3 value by the curve as the UDL is given. where the maximum value is 32.11 while the moment at location B is 21. Now, if we draw a B to C bending moment, then at location B, 21 clockwise moment is there in the downward direction. So, it is in the downward. At location maximum from B to 0 0.39, if we take a value as a 21.59, which is 
slight higher than 21 and at location C our value is 60 in the clockwise it means in the upward direction we have to connect this three point by the curve as UDL is given so it is as now at location C to D here our value is 0 also at location D value is 0 and at location C in D span our value is anti-clockwise 60 so it is in the upward direction as the arrowhead. Now between C to E there isn't any point load hence we have to connect it by the inclined straight line and from E to D our value is 0. But the upward value of this diagram is in negative while the downward value is positive. So figure indicates the bending moment diagram for the given tram as shown in the figure. Thank you.